Right, okay, so when you're grading the work, I've just added a, a rubric for you. So if you click into the task four, which should have everything in it, um, so you should just be able to mark from that. Um, the majority of their websites I'm sure you've looked at and navigated through uh, in class. So really, I've, I've added this rubric. This is the rubric from the Level 2 Creative Media Diploma, UAL. And when you're marking, uh, it's um, out of 12 points. So 12 points will be 100%. That will be your uh, distinction. So if you... Um, Go into speed grader by clicking up there. Let's take, for example, Raddy's work. We can have a quick look through and we can look at his evaluation continued, his evaluation continued. If the total digital sketchbook isn't completely together, although this looks like it is because he's got his research there um, and everything else, it's different research, it's quite well presented not too bad. Remember this is level 2 so we're not looking for that kind of A level, level 3 sort of work. You know these guys we should be thinking in lines of GCSE coursework uh, that kind of level. Um, so yeah um, he's got his fonts there, he's got a different plan um, and then obviously you can look back at the other assignments if you want to see his website uh, I would have quite liked to have seen him do a screenshot of his website, but it doesn't matter if they haven't. Uh, mark what you've got. Obviously, mark what you've got in. You can look at all the other submissions, but their final grade should be submitted on this task four, um, which will give them feedback so that they know how to improve. So if you click the button there, like I just clicked with the grading rubric, this then lights up with different colours, okay? So currently, um, I would suggest that Raddy, um, his evaluation, which is in here, is very detailed for a level two evaluation. Um, and he's being very meticulous about what he's talking about. Um, we are looking for some kind of level of analysis. And remember, here, in order to pass, He's got to show um, the assessment of his ideas as it is ongoing. So therefore you can include any um, planning. You can take into account any planning that he's done before he's got to this stage and how he's changed that idea. Um, and hopefully with his um, evaluation, obviously, look, he's explaining the process there, which is quite good. So. You know, and he's then assessing the tools that he's used, whether they were effective or not. Okay, so, I mean, target on it's from WordPress. This is a good evaluation, and I can see that he's obviously made use of uh, resource in order to do that. I mean, I didn't dislike the brief. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Raddy. <laughs> Glad you didn't dislike it. <laughs> Obviously, you've got a future diplomat there. Um, now, the question here, I think, with, with something like this, is really um, asking yourself, could that be improved? There's a lot of text-based stuff there. I don't know if it's perceptive evaluation and interpretation, demonstrating clarity in thinking and decision making, used to inform and progress ideas. Um, I think it could be a lot clearer if he'd actually bullet pointed, for example, what he did by using sort of screenshots and labels. I always like that kind of way of evaluating because you can actually see the process. Um, so, but I do think it's effective. I think it's clearly communicated. Um, and he's applied to make reasoned decisions and inform the development of ideas. So, in terms of his evaluation, I would give him a merit. Um, in terms of his um, practical skills, um, you know, again, I would probably give Raddy um, 
a merit again because uh, I believe that it's considered and capable demonstration of processes, application of skills and knowledge, use to develop ideas and program creative solutions. So, so you know, he's done a bit of work. His presentation isn't too bad. Creative solutions. Um, I think he's kind of borderline here, past merit. So, in order that he makes improvements to his work before he gets to his final major project, I'll be inclined to put him in a pass, and then I can explain better how he can improve his practical skills um, and maybe make his presentation a little bit more relevant to the themes so that you get that kind of house style going through. So that when we look at this project, you know, we know instantly that this is about web development, web design. Uh, planning and production, um, again, in order to help Raddy um, get better. I mean, I think his planning and organization is actually one of his strengths. So, you know, this is, uh, this is a strong area with Raddy. He's very conscientious about getting his work finished. And even if he struggles with the actual practical skills, his actual planning and production um, against timescales is um, evident, I think. So I would be inclined to give him a merit there. Um, his research, he's obviously completed all the research. Again, you can include the research that he's done and his poster stuff. So with Raddy, for example, the presentation of the poster, although should be could be improved, his research um, and investigation has been fairly thorough and coherent. Although, in order to try and push up the standards of research, what I'd be inclined to do again is put him in the past and then give him some really, really good feedback on how he can improve that in those areas. Um, once you've done that, you can see that you've then got 6 out of 12. So that's like a 50%. So 50% should be enough to give him a pass level, but it also then, when you've ticked in this rubric, it gives him some feedback to show him how he can improve.